Yo, what's good people? Diligent here, back in the cut. I hope you're good, I hope you're safe. It's been a little minute and I've got to apologise for that because the last time we spoke, I was speaking about consistency and hitting a certain amount of videos, which I did not do. Music had gotten to a point where it was unenjoyable for me. And when it's not enjoyable, I just don't want to do it and I'm not good at it. So I just wanted to take a little break, buy my love for it again. And now I'm back. 2021 i'm trying to just up the levels up the quality and hopefully you can see that in this video and in the videos to come I've got a lot of things planned this year so please do stay tuned but without further ado let's get into the video today we'll be making a d block europe type beat d block europe is a uk rap group from lewisham south london that pioneered the uk wave trap scene the group is made up of Young Ads, Dirt Bike LB and Lil Pino. Young Ads was the first to begin rapping at age 7 and by the age of 12 and 14, he had songs and freestyles already racking up serious views on YouTube. After his song, Dope As It Gets, started to receive recognition, Ads signed his first deal with Universal age 15. However, his relationship with the label would sour, leading to the termination of his deal. He tried to lay out a single for me to do and I just had a bad attitude. Some of it, I, I don't think he got my vision. I had a big argument, I said something I shouldn't have said and then he just said, thankfully, let's just done the thing. Do you get what I'm saying? So we just stepped out of that. So then after that... Now independent, Young Ad will go on to be managed by the older brother of his best friend and future DBE member, LB. LB's older brother would then go on to pull some strings and attempt to get a verse from New York legend Jadakiss. He was feeling the track so much that he then went on to give Young Ads the cosign. This is where the formation of DBE began and they will go on to build one of the strongest fan bases in the UK, tour the world and sell out iconic venues such as the Ali Pali. In terms of sound selection, their melodies tend to have a wavy vibe and common instruments you may find are bells, guitars, pianos and airy pads. Let's begin. The first thing I did was open up Ample Guitar Lufa and I laid down this melody. In terms of effects, I added RC20, I added a half time at 55%, added in some extra low end, and then I added the EQ to control that. I then added the sound from Omnisphere and added the EQ. I then opened up this flute and expand. I added the EQ to get rid of some piercing frequencies and then I added some reverb. Next, I added this vocal from Arcade. I wanted my drums to be a slightly different than my usual drum bounce. So the first thing I added was that rim shot and then I added my hi-hats. And then I added this secondary snare, which is where I tried to be a bit more unique than usual. I also added this snare again, but I added some delay just to make it a texture. Then I added a kick. And 
I'm so open hot. And finally, the 808. Again, I added some triplets in there just because I wanted to give it a different bounce than usual. Before I let the final beat play out, I would like to thank you if you've gotten this far. And if you enjoyed the content, please do leave a like and subscribe to help the channel to grow. To my OGs watching, please do let me know if you prefer this style of content to the previous. We are still on the road to 1k, so if you want to help me, you know what to do. When we hit 1k, I will be doing a little giveaway. And if we can get this video to 30 likes within two days, I'm going to drop a free drum kit. But without further ado, I'm going to let the video play out. Once again, thank you for all the love and support. God bless and I'll catch you on the next one.